Hey guys, we're going on a trip. Why don't you come with us? This time, we're going somewhere far away. You ready to go on a trip? Ready to go on a trip? Okay. Wait! What is it, Daphne? You always get to tell the stories. Maybe this time, I can tell it. Hmm, okay, sure. Great! So yeah, I was so excited! Dad packed the car, and next stop, Aeroplaner Station. Wait, tell them what country we're going to. Oh, right. We were going to Never Everland. Uh, no, Netherlands, Daphne. Neverlands. Just say Holland. But I thought you said we're going to Neverlands? Anyway, would be my first time to Europe. We arrived at Aeroplaner Station and checkered in. Since we always stuck in small carry bags when flying, we tried to stretch our legs first. So we walked all the ways to Starbuckers. Stephanie, what are you getting? Puppuccino. Grande? Yeah, Grande Puppuccino. Grande Puppuccino. Yes. Then it was back in carry bag for flight. Was going to be a long one. My longest ever. They call this a red eye flight. Ew, why? Is there a pink eye outbreak or something? No, no, that just means an overnight flight. Which was a good thing, as we could just sleep most of the way. But while Daphne slept in her bag, I snuck out of mine to snuggle with Mom inconspicuously under a blanket. When we took off, the sun was going in bed. And when we arrived, the sun was coming awake. Even though it was only seven hours apart. Crazy. We arrived at our hotel in Amsterdam. Which had a very tricky spinning door. But the first thing I noticed was that they have a huge pile of sticks at the entrance. We had a quick dinner in our room. Or was it breakfast? I don't know, our clock was all mixered up. Then we took to the streets of Amsterdam to explore. I've never been in a place like this. The buildings are so interesting. The roads are made of bricks, and it's full of really straight rivers. Those are canals. Oh, canals. And get this, going casually by on those canals were heck of cheese boats. Crazy. Mom says I'm a bit annoying to walk with because I'm always trying to go inside every door or entrance. Girl, but Dad can't go in there. That's not yours. Girl, where are you going? No, no, no. That's not our house. That's right. But hey, I'm just trying to explore. No, no, no. And go in the beer store. Oops. It's closed. It's closed. Explore the beer store? Well, maybe. But even in the city of bricks, I always manage to find a good stick. And there was stinky stuff everywhere on the streets. Of more than one kind, if you know what I mean. Phew! And there were so many bicycles. We had to be careful not to get rolled over. That's for sure. You also met some of the local dogs. I'm always very polite when meeting other dogs. Daphne, on the other hand. Daphne, be nice. Hey, don't get too close, Buster. Personal bubble, personal bubble. We even saw a heckin' bunny rabbit on a leash. Crazy. It also wasn't quite as warm as we anticipated. We found ourselves wearing our jackets a lot, and Mum even had to go buy a toque, as we Canadians call it. One of the first things we decided to do was take a motorboat a ride on the canals. Which was amazing. I honestly gotta say, Amsterdam is a pretty beautiful city. I wouldn't want to fall in this water, though. Ugh. Yeah, I agree. I asked our guide if there were any fishies down there. 
He said the only thing you'll catch is one of the thousands of bicycles on the bottom. Wouldn't it be fun to stay in a houseboat like one of those? Yeah, but not that one. That one is full of pussycats. So it's a rescue or? Yeah, the shelter for the cats. In a boat? Crazy. So after I took the helm for a little while to give the captain a little break, we decided to sneak in a quick nap for the rest of the tour. Boats will do that to you. Pee-pee. One problem we had, though, was that Daphne always took forever to pee. Pee-pee. Like unbearably long, like even Mum got impatient. I'm not used to all the noises and smells and people looking at me. I can't help if I'm a lady like lady like that. Yet you can poop in the middle of the street back home. Yes, but anyway, we also had to try out some of the famous food of the Neverlands. Which admittedly wasn't too many. We tried the famous Floofwaffle. We tried their famous baby pancakes. Yum! Mmm! And then we went to try their famous fishy snack. Which is a salted but mostly raw herring, served with onions and pickles. Did I like it? Mom didn't like it, but we sure did. More, please. One thing I especially love about Europe is just how dog-friendly it is. We're welcome in all the restaurants here. Unlike back home, this is how things should be. Yeah, so dog-friendly. Although this stupid door couldn't be more confusing to me. After dinner, Dad showed me some new shoes he bought us. Wasn't sure if I was supposed to chew or wear. No, we don't bite them. These have been worn before. They fit those. Next day, we took a trip to see the famous spinny things. Windmills. <laughs> and of course, we had to stop to pose her for some pics. And it was never just Dad taking pics of us. The windy mills were very pretty. They must be strong because I could feel the breeze way over here. They don't create wind, Daph. They spin with it. Dad even made us our own windy mills to wear for a picture. We stopped being embarrassed a long time ago. And as long as there's treats involved, I'll pretty much wear anything. Except dressers. And not far from the windy mills were fields full of beautiful tulips. Wowza! We went tiptoeing through the tulips, as they say. I want to go first. No, I'm first this time. Then I went running fast as a flasher through the tulips. Smells, but don't eat. Tulips are toxic to dogs. She would know. And we finally got to wear the new shoes Dad got us. They're not very comfortable, though. The colors were definitely incredible. Mom was pretty much in heaven. So very pretty, though. But we were mostly more interesters in digging. Yeah, tulips are pretty nice, but digging is a bit better. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. We don't do that. No, no. We definitely got some nice picks for my next calendar.
morning, Mom and Dad were packing up their bags, so I knew we were on the move. We drivered for a while and arrived at our next place, which was a houseboat. Sweet, love this. And look over here. Is that our boat? Our boat came That's with a boat. boat. Double motor boater. As usual, we took the full tour of our new place. We definitely approved. And it didn't take long to find the best spot in the house, er, boat, right here where we could sit in the sunshine and watch the duckies. Those big windows were amazing, but we're also susceptible to Daphne's nose art. After next morning's breakfast and a quick nap, it was time for a ride on the motorboater. We said bye-bye to our houseboat as we puttered down the peaceful canal. <laughs> we had to duck our heads not to get whackered by the bridges. As we got closer to the historic Ethorn area, we had a pretty funny show when some tourists in front of us, who definitely should not have been driving a boat, were driving a boat. Bumper boats. <laughs> yep, even the duckies were getting out of there. But eventually, we continued to the very British Beethorn, a historical neighborhood of cute little houses with lots of bridges. But the chaos started when we stopped for lunch. The ducks sprinted over at the sight of food. And so did this big fat fancy bird. I ran over and was trying to bite his face off before Dad stopped me. And then we had another visitor. <coughs> Get him, Daph. No. no. Bite his face off. And the worst part, he didn't even leave. He just lazed around taunting us. Jerk. So much for peaceful. Then we went to visit a friend. This is Manny and Dex T-Rex. I met Manny once before at a meet and greet in Germany. They took us on their usual walk through the forest, which was really nice. And they showed me where to find the best sticks. Group photo, cheese! Speaking of cheese, next up was the famous cheese market in Gouda, which you'll never guess is where Gouda comes from. But how do the locals pronounce it, Daph? They say, kar, kar, That sounded pretty good. Yeah, I've been working on my Dutch. We stayed in our stroller most of the time at the market because it was just so busy and we didn't really feel like getting stepped on. I guess this is where all the cheese boats end up. They do a cool reenactment of the cheese market from the old days here, but it was hard to get a good view with so many people. In fact, the only thing I could see were but. but after the crowd moved on, we got to go in for the gram shot. Of course, Dad's got a costume for each occasion. Let's buy some cheese. Yeah, good idea. Okay, I'll try out my Dutch. Ahem, <clears throat> floofin' huh? Hey. Huffin, floofin, floppin, floofin, floofin. <laughs> Hoi, Lucas. Gouda bouwde nou? Is lekker. Gouda. A flieven bara floeven? Flieven floeven floef. Nee? Oh, sorry. Ik begrijp je niet. Seems Daphne still has a lot more practice to do. But she somehow did buy us some cheese that we got to taste later that evening. 
More cheese in my mouth, please. More howda, please. It was so good. That night, I even dreamed of cheese. And while in Neverland, how could we not try some bicycling? We were too chicken to rent bikes in the city, but here in the National Park is perfect. So many bikes to choose from. I want this one. You'll also notice we're wearing our large visor sun hats that Dad made us. Because all the other hats you can buy just don't do anything to actually block the sun. I had to ride in Mom's shoulder carry bag because we don't have our usual doggy bike seats here. It wasn't the most ideal setup, but it worked. It's nice here, a refreshing change from the city. For the last part of our trip, we were actually going to change countries. Yes. We were leaving Neverland and going to Belgium, to the fairy tale town of Bruges. Bruges. Zip it! I'm telling the story. Okay, okay. But on the way, we met up with someone a lot of you might know. Another YouTube dachshund from Neverland. It was Lulu the Dachshund! We wanted to meet Lulu and Coco for so long now, and finally did. But it was as if we already knew each other. Yeah, we got along as well as caramel and waffles. That's a floof waffle. Good one. She was so sweet with her big brown adoring eyes. Nice and And we both had something in common, which was a love for treats. But watch out, she was sweet, but she'd take off your finger if you's not careful. Can I give her a piece? Yeah, wash your fingers. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a short visit, but then we had to be on our way. It was a rainy day, but on the way to Bruges, we made our first stop in Belgium at a place called the Blue Forest. Unlike the other unpampered mud-covered pups, we had a cozy stroller with an umbrella. And to warm us up, we got a nice warm Belgium waffle. Which also made Mom less grumpy too. We had a slog through the mud, but finally got to see the bluebell flowers that gave the forest its name. Okay, very nice, let's go now. Yep, no fun being wet. We finally arrived in Bruges at the Barabas Bed and Breakfast and explored our cute apartment. We were still wet, so we were happy to see a warm fireplace. But we were also starving. Mum showed us upstairs. <laughs> I evidently was done with the tour and ready for dinner. It was a bee spot that overlooked an adorable courtyard and one of the canals. Ah, nice to relax by a fire. The next day, we quickly found the best viewing spot. There's actually a special history to the spot. This is the exact window where the late famous dog of Bruges named Fidel, belonging to the owner at the time, used to lay and watch the boats go by. He was the most photographed dog in Bruges and became pretty famous. And we had the honors of looking out his same window. The boat seemed to enjoy looking at us too. A fan in one of those boats even spotted us. We only had a couple days in Bruges, so took to the streets to explore what is maybe the best preserved medieval city and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Like a fairy tale city. But with beer and chocolate. Some even shaped like poop. Crazy. And that about wraps it up. Yup, as quickly as we went. Now we are back home. I really enjoyed my first time in Neverlands and Bruges. Yeah, it's great to be exploring the world again. This was my first real trip since my surgery. Hope you enjoyed. We have some more episodes coming, so please whack the subscribe button for me. Remember, you can find all our best pictures from all our trips and adventures each year in my calendars. Also a quick note, 
If you ever tried our game before and it didn't work or so crashed, try again. I just finished whackering it real good. We did a big performance update. Right. So give it a try. Find it in the App Store or Play Store. Have fun and keep balling. Toodaloo. What are you doing, Dad? I'm looking for you to bird yourself.